Which comes first, the fertilizer or the seeds? Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and today we've got another video on precision farming with seasons. And in the last video, we were able to get the lime spread on our field and get it cultivated ready for our seed bed. Now, the next thing we're gonna need to do is figure out do we want fertilizer or do we want seeds? I highly recommend waiting until after you put seeds in the ground to fertilize unless you're going to be using manure or slurry now if you're going to use one of those two then you can go ahead and put one layer of that down we're not going to do that process here um, because i just like to use mineral or liquid fertilizer um, but i've got something that i need to show you on the season side of things so as you can see up here our temperature right now so it's right in the middle. Let me zoom in right here. Okay, so 42 degrees is our air temperature and 39 degrees is our ground temperature. So we're still in early spring. And the reason that's important is because if I pull up my seasons menu here, you can see that most of my crops at the minimum require the ground to be 41 degrees. That's the blue numbers that you see here on the left side of the graph so we're going to go ahead and plant wheat it's a very uh consistent robust um crop so that's what we're going to plant but it takes the ground being 41 degrees to be able to sustain it and get good germination and what i mean by germination is the plant is going to start growing the roots are going to come out of the seed and the stem's going to start coming up right out of the ground and start getting leaves and start the photosynthesis process and everything and grow and really take off that's germination starts all that okay so we have to be careful about 41 degrees and the reason is because right here you can see this is your resistance so the biggest thing that we're worried about right now is frost resistance okay because it's chilly it's springtime so the first one, first row you can see, it says seed. And on wheat, it's going to be medium resistance, okay? So if you are planting something like sunflowers or soybeans or corn, potatoes, sugar beets or poplar, you know, or even, um, yeah, so those right there, it's going to have a very, very low resistance. So it's going to be more likely that it will not actually start growing and it would fail germination if it gets cold okay um being as wheat we're okay for the most part it can still happen though um so the next thing we want to look at is temperature and this is your weather forecast so what you have here you see the first five columns are all today so every three hours throughout today this is what you're going to have and it really goes into like tuesday like you know today and tomorrow for a whole day okay um and you can see overnight and that's going to be starting about 1800 to 2100 that's about dark time um all the way up until about six to nine tomorrow okay so those temperatures are the ones that we really want to pay attention to on air temperature because if those fall below freezing, you're going to have an opportunity for frost, okay? So be very, very mindful of that. Um, ground temperature, you're not going to be able to see here. You're only going to be able to see it over um, in your actual home screen. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's everything about the weather, okay? Um, it's very, very important to make sure that your ground temperature is where it needs to be. So, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and speed up time, possibly come back tomorrow, um, because that ground temperature will have time to come up to at least 41 degrees so that I can then put seeds in the ground. Um, Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is going to be your plant rotation. 
okay your planting rotation so if we open up our menu again and we come over to here crop rotation planner now this is very very important um, because you need to know what was in the ground previous and prior to previous so that you know what crop is going to be best um, you could get in a situation if you don't put those in where you plant a crop and it's going to give you absolutely horrible yields it's because it just wasn't ready right it wasn't the right crop to follow up another crop with um, so what we're going to do is run over to our field and take a look at the field info really really quick so if you look down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can see that there's the very two bottom lines it says previous and before previous so fortunately for us both of these are on fallow and there is a selection for that so we're going to open this up and the way you get down here is you just hit down and it's going to bring you here so what you do is start using your left analog stick to cycle through to get to um, what it was so your very first line up here is going to be before free previous which we know is fallow then your next one right here you want to go ahead and make sure it says your previous crop now you're going to be able to come down here and start putting in what crop you want to use and you're going to be able to see what the percentage is the yield percentage um, next to it so right now on sunflowers we have 1.2 everything you're going to have 1.2 right now because it was fallow all right but if i come over here and let's say that i had some cereal okay and then here i'm gonna have some legume all right so those are my two previous so the soybeans would be previous and oats would be um, before previous and if we start coming across here if i want to put wheat in this i'm only going to get 1.14 and that's what most of these Ooh, but i could put canola in here as an oil seed and get 1.20 awesome absolutely awesome some flowers i could do that um soybeans wouldn't i would actually lose five percent if you see that so with seasons it's not the best idea to keep repeating crops you're gonna need to have a rotation and this is gonna help you be able to figure out exactly what is gonna give you the best chance for a maximum yield I mean look at that you could put potatoes in here now and just be absolutely dismal that's only gonna be 71 percent that is very very low so you know we know I'm gonna go ahead and set all these back uh, we know that on ours that since we have fallow and fallow before that we're going to be okay to plant anything but like i said pay attention really really close to this and i mean if you if you just want to run certain crops and that's it try and see if there's a way that you can do something in here um maybe like an oilseed radish or something like that might be able to help you out um or i don't know there, there's a couple techniques. There's a lot of other videos out here on it. So go ahead and check those if you have a little bit more questions about Crop Rotation Planner. Or throw it down in the comments below. Let me know and we'll we'll talk about it and we'll, we'll get you an answer. So that's Crop Rotation Planner. And that is your crop info and your weather forecast. So that's that. Let's head back over to the tractors and all the seeding equipment. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit now. All right, so we are now back over here at the equipment. And as you can see up in the top, we're on day two now. I had to sleep through the night to allow the soil temperature to come up to where I would be able to see that. And if we go back over here to the menu, you can see right here for wheat, I need it to be 41 degrees. So pretty much I can go ahead and put everything in the ground except for what is blue now now cotton we're not going to be able to because it doesn't support it the season's geo and soybeans and corn we need it just a little bit warmer but everything else you can see so what happens is whenever it's time to be able to put seeds in the ground 
that row will become white instead of blue whenever it's ready. And we also had a rain earlier today that lasted for about uh, nine hours. So that's why it's six o'clock now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this really quick. Sorry if it's not super bright. Um, it's just six o'clock at night and I gotta get this done like tomorrow morning or, you know, I'm gonna, you know, potentially run out of time if I don't get it done tomorrow. I'm not gonna be able to plant anymore. So um, let's go ahead and talk about our seeding options. So the first one that we have right here, this is a planter, okay? And then this is a seeder. Now you have a couple different ways. Like I said, if you're running a direct drill, it'll say it down at the bottom. So if we jump into the menu here and come over to our planters, we can see that this one right here only says at the bottom, with a cedar planter, you can sow fields. Okay, our other option here is a cedar, and it is a horse. And at the bottom of it, it says, additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. All right, perfect. So you've got options. And if you don't like to cultivate, I would recommend going with a direct drill. But you may not be able to unless you get some mods off Mod Hub. So kind of figure out what you how you want to play with that aspect of the game um, you can also get some fertilizer put on at the same time now um, if you fertilize when you are um, seeding then it's automatically going to give you the proper setting we are not going to do that here but you absolutely can so if we go back and we look at the horse again one more time you can see that this horse also has a fertilizer symbol down there with your seed symbol. So this one will actually put fertilizer on the ground at the exact same time. And that's the next part that we're going to talk about here. Um, maybe. We may wait till the next episode to talk about that because this one's kind of getting a little bit long. And I want to keep these a little bit short for you guys. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and we've got seed in this right now. Um, the only problem is it is a planter and the planter is not going to do wheat for us so if we come across here ooh, actually this one will all right perfect so some of these planters don't like if you see this one here the the veristad tempo l16 it's not going to put um regular seed in the ground it's only going to put your crops that are meant for a planter so this one here will we're fortunate we're going to be able to knock it out pretty quick so let's go ahead get some seeds in this thing take it over and we'll throw it in the field and i will uh, show you guys a little bit of that process there so we have our planter back over here now ready to start putting seeds in the ground and we've got some weeds that have come up and that's something that we haven't really talked about yet and we will um, so what should happen is whenever we drive over this, all of these are going to get destroyed. Um, and then we'll come back and take care of them. But that's definitely going to be in a, another episode. Um, so there's quite a few. And they don't cover the whole field. So base game, if you run with weeds on, you know it covers the entire field completely. And your intensity setting here that you have, if we go to this and we say the weed intensity scale right here, this is how many weeds show up. So we have 20% on right now. So this is about what you're going to see every time. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's a random number. It's not going to be every bit of your field. So we should be okay here. Um, let's hop in our tractor. We're going to turn this on and I want to go ahead and show the mini map down here. Just so you guys can see from the precision farming aspect of this, there's nothing that you're gonna see here unless you actually have a cedar in the ground um, putting these seeds down. Um, and like I said, I don't wanna put the fertilizer down yet, um, but if you do it at the time of seeding, it's all gonna work perfectly fine and it's gonna be all automatic rate. So what we're gonna do is we've got wheat and we're just gonna let this guy go. But I do wanna show you one other thing on the map before we move on to fertilizer. So yeah, as you can see, that weed bed right there went ahead and was destroyed, completely gone. So if you get weeds before you put seeds in the ground, don't worry about spreading your herbicide or anything like that yet. You are going to be perfectly fine 
they're going to get rid of it. Um, and once, we, like we said, this is not a direct drill. This is a regular. So it's not adding a cultivating state at the same time that we're doing this. It's only putting seeds in the ground. So let's run over to our map and take a look at the one thing that I wanted to show you over there about seeding. Here we are at the map. And as you can see, it's putting the proper crop that we want down, wheat. But if we come across and we hit the left analog, um, L3 to the right one time, you can see that now we have this, okay? And what it's showing is that the purple field next to us is harvested. The blue field that we're in right now is actually cultivated. That was a stage that we did. But it's now yellow. And a yellow doesn't mean ready to harvest. It means planted. So it's going to show in this status until it starts to grow. Because right now it's only seeds. It's not actually started the germination process yet. Now, you can see just underneath planted, there is germination failed. And if you put this in the ground and it's too cold, you're going to get germination failed. Or if something happens along the way um, to small sections of your field, you're going to get germination failed. And that could be, I mean, a different, a lot of different reasons. And there's so many that I don't really want to get into all those details right here. Just know that you could see some spots um, with germination failed throughout your field. Hopefully we're not going to have that here. It's warm enough. I don't think we're going to have an issue. As you can see, we got the entire field done here. No weeds anywhere at all. So let's go ahead and jump over to the map and take a look at it. So right here is our map. As you can see, we did wheat over the entire field. And if we come across over to here, you can see that it's still showing as planted. Perfect. And over here, you can still see that it was plowed. So we're good. If we come to the precision farming side, you can see that our pH levels are where they need to be, but our nitrogen is still really, really low. And we know that wheat needs quite a bit of nitrogen to be able to be optimal. So what we're going to do is go ahead and end this episode here today. And we're going to come back in the next episode and talk about the fertilizer because there's a lot to cover there too. A lot of different ways you can do it. So that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video or learned something today, go ahead and give it a like if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest precision farming with seasons videos, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.